If I call you bae, yeah, you bae for the day, bae for the night, not my wife. Hello, everyone. Welcome to all of my new yay bays. All of y'all are new yay bays right now because this is my first video. But so it's a very special day because it is my friend's birthday. We're going to be out celebrating her, going to lunch, taking pictures, all that kind of stuff. Um, of course, we're being COVID safe, wearing masks. The restaurant that we're going to is outdoors. It has all of these social distancing measures put in place. And we also just got COVID tested. I just got COVID tested. My results just came in. They're negative. So yes, make sure that you're staying safe and still being responsible. I know that we're all tired of quarantine. I know. Isolation has been getting to me too, but it's not over yet just because we're tired. So we have to make sure that we're still staying safe. I look like this right now, but I'm gonna kind of show you how I did it a little bit. Not really. Um, I do a lot of it off camera and then I come back and I'm like, um, but you'll see that. So I'll see you all in a minute and thank you for watching. Okay, let me stop right here and just let you all know. I accidentally recorded everything holding my phone like how you would normally hold your phone instead of holding it horizontally. Rookie mistake. But after I leave my spot and actually meet up with her, it's going to be in the right orientation. So stick with me. First I use a brown pencil. This is dark brown and it's NYX, but you can use any brown pencil this one is just really cheap and I just go around and I line my lips and then I do this little mountain thing in the middle that's gonna help with the gradient a little bit then I go back in and in the corners I use this Sephora it's the cream lip stain and it's 26 you can't see it the number is super small but I take this I just put it in the corners to help with the gradient then I go back in with this Maybelline New York Superstay matte ink seductress number 65 and I take it and I just like that like just pat it on in the center didn't blend it in so you can see how i don't play me don't play don't you see me oh okay you see me <laughs> i i didn't blend it okay so that you could see how i just like did like that and put it on there okay then you're just gonna kind of deal to get that gradient there And we're not even done yet. We're not even done yet. And look, I'm gonna go put a little bit more on there on the top lip, but I like that. Okay. Okay. <sighs> you see me? You see me? <laughs> okay. Okay, and then the last step is optional, which I kind of slick wish I hadn't done because I forgot that this mask is gonna like stick to my face now, but I, you can, this is for the girls that like the gloss. Or this, hmm. Sorry, this is just a moment of self accountability. I'm currently working on decolonizing my mind, removing all of these gender constructs that have been used to police and erase communities and their struggles. We are an inclusive channel over here that is inclusive of the TGNC community, transgender and gender non-conforming, non-binary communities. I said the girls who like gloss, scratch that. I'm still working on it, but um, I believe in holding myself accountable and calling myself in. So I'm about to correct it right now. Again, this is for anybody who likes the gloss. Period. 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 You can use any clear gloss, but I just used this one. It's the coconut oil one. It's like the beauty supply gloss, okay? We believe in luxury. We believe in abundance. We also believe in being financially savvy. So on the things that you don't have to pay out of like, like super, super expensive, you can get this. It's like a dollar. And the shine. The shine, baby. Okay. Her. Period. 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 My eyelash is kind of like wonky like this one is much more fluffy than that one. Listen, that's just how it came out the box. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah. My hair right now is in a braid out. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. Oh, yeah. Stiff wear. Wow. Stiff wear. Wow. Wow. I'm on this journey right now of protective style in my hair, but not wanting to add like additive hair and things like that. And so I can't tell if I want to wear my hair out today 
or if I want to put on this wig. And that way I can just keep my hair in the braids, the little wig cap on, the wig on, good to go. If I wanna take my hair down and have it big and fluffy, I'm afraid of humidity. Let me get the wig. Okay, so I've also gotten a lot of questions about where I get this hair from. And we share the wealth around here. So I got it from West Kiss. And it's a closure wig. I, I got it a long time ago. <laughs> I got it for graduation, for undergrad graduation, but then, you know, 2020. <laughs> so I just wore it for like pictures and things like that, but I don't know. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try it. Okay, this is the, <clears throat> this is the hair. It didn't come with bangs. I actually cut these in there. Is that a pose? Your girl got skilled. Are we going for this vibe today? But I could also wear my hair out. Wear the wig, I don't have to worry about. I really like my natural hair. I love my natural hair. I love wearing my natural hair. I feel my most beautiful when I wear my natural hair. I actually feel my most beautiful when I wear my natural hair and when I barely have on any makeup. If I had thicker eyebrows, I would just brush my eyebrows in the morning, something like get eyelash extensions, and just rock that every day. I wasn't blessed with thick eyebrows. But all of that to say, I'm still confused as to whether or not I'm gonna wear this wig or my natural hair. I just moisturized my hair, put the wig cap on, and then I just sprayed like this part right here. And then I used my blow dryer for a couple seconds just to make sure that it kind of like dries a little bit, put the wig on, and now I'm putting, I have up my do-rag on. I like to wear a do-rag because I can tie it as tight as I need to. Make sure that it's gonna be nice and tight. So, I don't know where my brush is, but I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna brush it, I need to straighten it. I need to get dressed. In fact, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing today. It's just a black turtleneck, like, sweater dress. I mean, you know, it's just a, it's just something really basic, so. Um, yeah, I'll be back when I have my dress on. So I just have this cheap brush that I broke because I dropped it. And, um, oh. And you knew that. I'm gonna just get you I don't think y'all can see me. You see me! There you go. So I'll put y'all in my... Six and a half hours later. Okay. Look at this. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. Yes, yes. Ooh. It's giving what it was supposed to gay. Giving what y'all said it was supposed to gay, but no. Nah. Not the bay, the bay, not the bay, bay, oh, 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 it still like, makes me regret cutting the bangs in there. I'll be like, dang, I wish I had just left them alone. I, I can't tell, like it or not. It's cute though. Cute, it was cute. I get behind my ears sometimes, like that. Oh, they're kind of cute. Maybe just because I was like trying to curl them in the, in the phone. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, it's doing that thing in the middle. I told you where it likes to part because that's where the middle part is. But it's okay. So, trying to think about what I'm gonna do next. Perfume. I use this regular, regular perfume from like Marshalls or whatever. It's just a stand in for right now. I'm waiting until I get a little bit more money so that I can start investing in my designer perfume collection. I'm really ready for that whole grown woman scent to actually last and it lingers. I'm thinking about maybe getting it for my birthday. I'm thinking about maybe just getting it. Period! Period! Period, as soon as I get some money in, I'll have to wait until my birthday to treat myself, to reward myself. Your appearance is a necessary part of you. Don't neglect it. So, yes. Oh, I have to pick out shoes. What was, y'all weren't even gonna remind me? Let me figure out which shoes I wanna get.
I, the dress is just all black. Um, I feel like every body owns these and I love them so I might just wear those. I really like wearing nude heels because I feel like it extends my body. Not that tall. So I'm like I'm average. I'm not short. I'm not tall either. I'm just I'm average. I could wear these. I don't really want to wear these because they these are more just fashionable. The clear ones would extend my legs and make them look a little bit longer. I also have these. They're actually really hard for me to walk in so maybe I won't wear them. These are cute but they're nude-ish. They have that pointy toe clear thing. I love a clear heel. I love a good clear heel honestly. Probably just gonna wear these right? The black ones could be good but they're harder to walk in I feel like. This is how every decision making process is for me. Uh, I might just wear these. The black ones are so cute though. I don't know, I I gotta think about it. A few moments later. I gotta think about it. Um, I'm also gonna put some of this on my legs. Just give it that glow. Just let your soul glow. I'm not gonna put it on the bottom of my feet because with those shoes that I'm wearing, it's, I'm gonna be slipping and sliding, but I'm gonna put some of this on my legs to give me that kind of natural glow. Okay, so yes, so she is on her way here. So excited because at first I was gonna have to take the subway, or the train, or whatever it's called. I still don't know what it's called. Y'all know that thing. And but she had to come back here to pick some things up. So now I just get to ride with her to the place, and I'm so very excited. So excited! Don't have to worry about bringing a change of shoes. I'm just gonna wear this mask because it's black. It matches, and it gives me that sexy ninja thing going on there. Okay, yeah. So she's here. My, my eyebrows look huge, but it's just because of my. It's just because, it's just because of my bangs. Basically, I like, have huge eyebrows. Anyway, I'm just going to look like this. Okay, so I got my keys, I got my mask, and I'm about to get out. See you out there. <laughs> Nothing left to say, like, period. 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 Yeah. period. Yeah. 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 Don't drive in New York, accidentally put my body oil on the bottom of my feet like I said I wasn't going to and now my feet are sliding oh wow yeah I can't I am disgusted <laughs> Call us delicious. Yeah. Welcome to my house, y'all. Yes. I'm, I'm still not over delicious. I wasn't expecting delicious. that. I wasn't expecting it. I thought he was gonna say, "Y'all look absolutely nice. beautiful." Yeah. Gorgeous. Black women are gorgeous. Black women are. Go I don't understand. I know. Beautiful. Nice. Is that yeah. Something on the menu. What is that? I wish, I wish, I wish y'all was on the boom. Hey, this they be making it hard for you to just say thank you. No, truly.
fun and she had a great time and I had a great time and one of the things that I had been reflecting on as of late was um, being up here and pretty much just moving up here thinking man I really miss having a consistent friendship with like a person that I see often and able to hang out with often and that's just one of the things that you deal with when you're transitioning from one stage of life to another and then COVID didn't help and then moving to a whole nother place state didn't help but um in thinking about that recently what I realized was the thing that I had been desiring and looking for and longing for for so long I was already in the presence of yeah 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 getting to celebrate her today and be there with her today and talk to old friends and maintain those relationships while still being present and grateful and mindful. Of the new ones that you're making and really marveling and relishing in those is such a wonderful thing and I'm just so grateful that even in COVID, even in quarantine, even in this crazy, crazy year that we've all experienced in different yet similar ways, I was so blessed to have been able to have a, a friendship like that with her. And so she had an amazing time and I know that you're gonna watch this. So happy birthday and Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being one of my yay bays. And if you're not yet a yay bay, don't you want to be my bae? Be a yay bay. So make sure that you all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be sure to continue to bring you all along on this journey. So.